developer.apple.com is where you set up the certificates and provisioning profiles for your apps so that you can make app files called IPAs on your machine and test them on devices. The first thing you need to do is add your devices you want to test on. Navigate to developer.apple.com in a browser. Choose Member Center and log in. Next, choose the iOS provisioning portal. Click on Devices on the left. You need to add any iOS devices you want to test your app on to the list. To find the device ID on an iPad or iPhone, plug the device into your computer using the USB cable. Then launch Xcode. If you haven't already downloaded Xcode, go to the App Store and download it now. You will need Xcode to proceed with the creation of the apps. When Xcode launches, you may not see any window open. If you don't see a window open, choose Window Organizer from the menu. In the Organizer window, you will see a list of all of the devices you have plugged in. Select the device in the list. You will need to copy the identifier code for that device to add the device in developer.apple.com. For other people in your group who have a device they want to use in testing, you can tell them to plug the device into their computer and start iTunes. When iTunes launches, select the device. In the summary section, they will see the serial number. If you click on the serial number, it will reveal the identifier. Have them copy this number and send it to you. Finally, back in the provisioning portal, you can choose Add a Device. Give the device a specific name and paste the identifier. When you're done, click Submit. If you add devices after you've already made and downloaded the provisioning profiles, you will need to make the provisioning profiles again, throw away the old ones, and load the new ones in Xcode before you make another IPA from App Factory. If you don't, the new IPA will not load on the new devices.